29th of June 2019, Sergei Baklikov. Now this is the city of Ufa, the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia and the uh, view from the balcony on the 18th floor in the apartments of my mother-in-law and father-in-law where I'm guesting now, the parents of my wife. And uh, I used to show you this neighborhood actually already like two years ago. This is Richard Zorge Street and this uh, green building, it's uh, the place where on the fourth floor I used to live right before we moved to St. Petersburg. And I used to show you that site, you see, uh, they digged uh, a huge pit there to make the foundation, the basement for a new 25 floors residential building for 250 apartments and back in those days i called the developers mofos because they cheated on all the earlier uh, people who used to buy the apartments here because they promised there will be just a two-staged uh, kindergarten for the local people who are living here but then they started to uh, uh, construct the foundation for 25 uh, stores building with uh, the kindergarten on just a first floor, as they said. So, four years of uh, court wars, but finally the residents of this neighborhood won it. It was not easy, but now they won it, and as you can see, now they got back everything to normal, and uh, they filled in the pit, and now theirs will be a, a kindergarten, or maybe at least a playground for the kids. Now it's Saturday, we are waiting for Liana, it's um, my wife's cousin, and uh, we will go just to hang out. But before I go, uh, let me show Victoria and hi. let she say hi. Hi. You often ask me where is Victoria, but you know, uh, she is uh, from one side pretty busy, from another side she's becoming like a real teenager and she is now have a lot of many other interests than just to film at your daily's vlogs. Before we go, need to throw the garbage. Okay, now Liana has come. Hi, Liana. Привет, привет, Сергей. Ну что, погнали? Давай. is always too shy. Richard Zorge. Street. Antoha MC. Now here we're going to one guy, teenager, who just uh, captured the VHS videos to electronic video files. You know, recently I have found my family VHS cassette that is for 25 years was considered as a lost, total lost, you know, but one of our relatives have found it uh, at his, you know, apartment when he started to uh, uh, make the renovation there. And that is, and that is pretty exciting. Karl Marx Street, House 62. That's where the guy lives. VHS from 1990. Here is the family movie. Damn. I was just six years here. Now we go for a walk. The guest yard. Oh, 
Необходим кофе латте 2. Латте без добавок. Спасибо. Макачина большой был, да? Да. One of the essential places of the historical city center of Ufa. The square before the Holiday Inn Hotel, which is there, and the guest yard, the fountain, which is called Seven Girls. A singing fountain, not singing right now, only in a certain hours, Seven Girls. There's the sculptures of uh, Seven Girls by the perimeter of the fountain. And now it's singing the street musician. I will play some money because I'm not a fucking free owner. On the intersection of Lenin and October Revolution Street, here is the second McDonald's in Ufa. And that's where for the first time I've tried McFood. And then I've paid a huge price for this when I've got my gallbladder removed. On the other side of Gassine Dvor, actually like uh, parallel to the square where is uh, the seven girls found and here is the garden named after Vladimir Lenin because here is his monument Vladimir Lenin the founder of USSR actually there is a lot of great things in USSR that I appreciate but in the same time I don't really appreciate the uh, pressure on the Tsar's family now let's go to smoke the hookah. I know one nice hookah place, which is just there, uh, behind the corner. Now we cross communistic streets and intersection with Lenin Street. This historical building, that's the main post office of Ufa, and that is the Ministry of Internal Affairs, like the Ministry of Police of the Republic of Bashkortostan. And look, here is uh, the zero kilometer of Bashkortostan. It looks actually like zero kilometer uh, before the Red Square in Moscow. Да, давайте, smoky people. Seems like hookah places is a nice business in the summertime. It's an offer because everything is busy now. We're looking for another place. Lenin Street, the central street of the city. The Motherland movie theater built in the style of Stalin's Empire. And 1953. <laughs> Now we came to the place which is called Burjuika. <laughs> Something like bourgeois. But we are not bourgeois. We are the former communists. Yeah. 
we have ordered the pork loin and Caesar salad with a meat and a beer. We start with a beer. Мне тоже нарежешь интересные моменты, ладно? Кто кого снимает? Я тебя. А я тебя. Да? Hi guys, my name is Liana Tulupova. For hookah now we'll get inside. Now meet Anastasia. She makes massage, professional massage, not like the one in massage rooms. <laughs> If you will be in Ufa and you will need massage, you know who address to. We've got our hookah with a such a one-time covers, like hygienic. Here is now the uh, raspberry taste. <laughs> okay, guys, on this note, I'm gonna stop this vlog. And uh, I have a good news for you. The next video already uh, will get back to the normal, to a regular episodes of Real Russia. And I'm very happy about this because, you know, actually I don't really like um, the uh, vlogs because it's just like maybe fun, but it's like about nothing, you know, just about me hanging with uh, my relatives or with my friends. But I've got used more to like uh, the videos which has any subject, any idea, and uh, like I really open up this subject for you. Uh, the reason why for the last like almost two weeks I was uh, not making the regular videos, as you know, I've got my camera uh, GH4 burned out. Since uh, the next video, I will get back to uh, normal. Um, usual full mass, regular full mass. Stay tuned, keep watching, comment, like, subscribe.